guys and welcome back to my channel. So just randomly today I wanted to film a video. It's really late in the afternoon so I apologize if the lighting is really bad. It is super overcast but at the same time the sun is trying to get through so if you're kind of seeing like this at some point in the video <laughs> that is because the sun and like the brightness of the clouds is like coming right through and trying to blind me. So last night I was just laying in bed, wasn't doing much at all and I had a really awesome idea for a super simple but really cool in a way Halloween makeup look. This is not going to be like a costume type of thing like that. This is not based around much other than just Halloween itself. This is just going to be a super easy yet really awesome eye look. I'm hoping it's going to come out the way that I am picturing it in my head, but majority of the time it never does. So if you would like to see my creative look at the end, please keep watching. So first up, I'm going to prime my eyelids using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in the shade Light. And I'm just going to pop this, a tiny bit of this, onto a shader brush. I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelids. And then I'm going to go over that with my beauty blender just to make sure that it's really well blended. To set my eyelids, I'm going to go in with my Bare Minerals Concealer Powder in the shade Well Rested. And I'm just going to use a big Morphe fluffy brush and I'm just I'm going to pop that all over. Now for my eyebrows, I know that they kind of already looked filled in. That is because I'm using my Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve the tops out with a little bit of that Maybelline Concealer once again, just so they look a little bit more clean. Okay, so basically for this eye look, I am really wanting an orange uh, eyelid. So orange in my crease, orange all over. I'm wanting to do like a gold glitter eyeliner and I'm also wanting to put just straight black underneath my lower lash line. That is what I'm hoping for and I've got three palettes here. So I'm going to be using my Violet Boss Holy Grail palette my new Huda Beauty Desert Dusk and my Modern Renaissance palette just because they have these orange shades in here that I am dying to use. So I'm going to start with my Violet Voss palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Hashtag which is this beautiful orange right here. Woo! And I'm going to be taking that on a Morphe blending brush and woo, these babies are pigmented. So I'm just going to put this through my crease inner to outer corner and I am going to kind of pull it up quite high. What I am going to do is I'm going to drag it out quite far so it's just got that like really elongated look. So basically I'm just going to be going back and forth, back and forth until I am really happy with the intensity of this colour and then I'll be going in with my other shades as well. So I kind of forgot that I owned the Morphe palette with lots of rainbow shades in it. So I'm actually going to take this really orangey shade right here with a Ava, oh what is this? No, nope. this is an Exo Beauty blender brush and I'm just going to pick up a lot of that colour and I'm just going to pretty much put that in the exact same spot. But I'm using these colors to basically intensify um, the colors and also just so it really brings out that super intense orange color. I'm just gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm just gonna kind of buff everything out as much as I can. And this brush has nothing on it. So I'm just going to buff everything out. And I'm going to go back in and then just intensify everything a little bit more. 
With my Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to take the shade Regal and I'm going to use a much smaller blending brush. Ah, I'm a bit itchy. And I'm going to place this on my outer corner and I'm going to use this just to deepen it up a tiny bit. And then I'm going to go in with my big fluffy brush and I'm just going to very, very gently and slowly buff out all the edges. For my lid, I'm like really tossing up between two at the moment. The first one I have here is the Model Co. Samantha Jade Gold Glitter Pigment. And then I also have the Astralis Metal X Cream Eyeshadow in Pearl Jammin. And I just don't know which one to go for. They're both so beautiful. I'll try the Samantha Jade one. And if that doesn't work out, I'll try the other one. Okay, so I've got a tiny little Morphe brush and I'm just going to spray it a little bit with my Mario spray. So I'm just going to pick some up and I'm just going to pop this on my lid. Okay, so for my glitter eyeliner today, I'm going to be using my Inglot Pure Eye Pigment in the number 63. It is just this beautiful coppery orange shade and to make it an eyeliner I'm going to be using my Inglot Dural Line so basically you mix the two together only a little bit because these go along the bloody way mix these two together and then it becomes an eyeliner So I'm going to come back to the eyes in a minute and fix everything up because this eyeliner, I don't even want to talk about it. So recently I bought the new Too Faced Hangover Primer Setting Spray. So I'm going to use this to prime my face today. For foundation, I'm going to go with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm going to put that on my beauty blender. For concealer, I'm going to go in with that same Maybelline one and I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. And I'm also going to use this just to clean up the side as well. And to blend that out, I'm going to be using a BH Cosmetics Tulip Brush just so I don't ruin my eye makeup. And then to blend the rest out, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. I did just put a little bit of extra under my eyes, just for that extra coverage right here. Okay, and to set my face today, I'm going to be going in with the new Too Faced Born This Way uh, setting powder. I don't even really know what this is actually called. So I'm going to use this to set under my eyes as well. Hopefully it doesn't have a lot of flashback. I'm just going to pop that underneath. Oh, that is so finely milled. That is going everywhere. I'm going to set my laugh lines really well. And then just with a big fluffy brush, I'm going to just pop this everywhere. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it goes absolutely everywhere. It's done a pretty freaking good job at setting my face. I will give it that. I'm just going to wipe away that... Bake. I'm also going to go in with a little bit of the Bare Minerals Wake Me Up powder. Either the Bare Minerals powder or it's the Too Faced powder has gone a little bit funny under my eyes. I'm going to assume it's the Too Faced one because this has never failed me, this stuff. To contour my face today, I'm going to go in with my Benefit Cooler Bronzer and my model's um, fur contouring brush. I'm 
And then I'm also going to use this bronzer to bronze up my cheekbones as well. And using a little bit of my Astralis powder and that Morphe brush, I'm just going to define the contouring a little bit more, just so it's a bit sharper. Okay, moving back onto the eyes until I do anything else, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Corrupt with a little shader brush. And I'm just going to go all the way from inner corner to outer corner of my lower lash line. Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. So going in with a smaller brush as well, I'm just going to really push this black up against my lower lash line. And then I'm just taking any brown color on that same brush and I'm only taking a little bit and I'm going to be using that to kind of blend it out and smoke the black down a little bit more. This is just so there's a nice gradient. Okay, I have blown this out as much as I can. As you can see, I have taken it up quite high, so it kind of like connects with the eyeliner. I don't know, I just kind of just kept blending up and I was like, well, I'm committed, so I need to do it now. Um, I know I have the eyeliner on top, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to outline my orange eyeliner with my black eyeliner as well. So I'm going to do that with my Maybelline Mask Precise Liner. Okay, so that's what I've done so far. I kind of stuffed up this one a little bit, but it's fine. For mascara today, I'm gonna to go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and I'm just going to apply this so I can get ready for the false lashes. So the lashes that I'm gonna be using for today are the Ardell Glamour Wispies, and these are a new pack. So I'm just gonna cut these to size, pop them on, and I will be right back. Okay, so while my lashes are drying and they are just taking their sweet time, I'm going to go in with highlighter and today I'm going to be using my Inglot Sparkling Dust in the shade 06. Anyways, so I'm just going to dip my highlighting brush in there. That was rude. Just to intensify my highlight a little bit more, I'm going to go in with the Mecca Max Diamond Glow Highlighter in the shade White Gold. And I'm just going to pop some of that on my brush and just intensify the... I feel like you can't really see my highlighter today because of the crap lighting. Just to bring my eyebrows back to life, I'm going to put a little bit of mascara gel through them. So they've got like so much powder through them right now. For my brow bone and inner corner highlight today, I'm going to be using this gold shade here from Makeup Geek, which is called Magic Act. And I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner. I am going to run a little bit of coal pencil in my waterline just to deepen it up a bit more. And to set the rest of my face today, I'm going to be going back in with that Too Faced Hangover Spray. Okay guys, that is the completed look. I really hope you like it. I am so obsessed with this. I'm probably going to wear this on Halloween because it is so freaking beautiful. I am so impressed with how this turned out. I was honestly expecting the black to be like a complete fail, but surprisingly it wasn't. I'm not the greatest with black shadow and I managed to blend it out pretty well in my opinion. So that is all for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, which I'm really hoping you did, 
Don't forget to hit that big like button because it would mean quite a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Wow. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. But until next time, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.